All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the 135 pound weight division. This is Glory Rules Muay Thai. Now, fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the red and gold trim weighing in at 134. He represents Stockade Muay Thai with a record of 0-1 from Kingston, New York, Nasty Nate Cruz. All right, and fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the red trim weighing in at 134. He represents Evolution Muay Thai with a record of 0-1 from Queens, New York, France Pierre. Gentlemen, went over the glory rules in the dressing room. A nice clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain there until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them up. All right. Friday night fights. The 2019 season premiere set to begin from Lower Manhattan's Broad Street Ballroom. Great to have you along, everybody. Ari Olagami alongside the coach, Jason Strout. In the Church Street Boxing Gym, just a few blocks from where we are right now, we are underway with our opening bout of the night. Nasty Nate Cruz takes a spill as he tries to extend the right leg towards Pierre, Fra towards Franz Pierre. Uh, Nate looked a little eager to get out from the corner. He was sitting there eyeballing France, looked a little excited. You can see he threw that kick and slipped. Cruz fighting out of Stockade Martial Arts in Kingston, New York. That's near Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie's wearing the black trunks with red trim. France wearing the all black representing Evolution Muay Thai in Midtown Manhattan as trainer, the great Brandon Levi. Looks like they're kind of feeling each other out a little bit, getting that nervous energy out of the way. Being the first fight of the night is tough sometimes. Just sitting back there, you, you, sometimes you'd rather fight later in the night as everything gets kind of warmed up, but you also want to come out and put on a good show, so there's a, there's a lot being the first fight. Both guys getting extended early on here. Cruz trying to go under the arm, under the into the armpit of France Pierre, and this time. You can also see the ring's a little dry, first fight of the night. Not a lot of moisture or sweat on the ground, being cold outside. I think that's why Nate's having a hard time staying on his feet when he's throwing that kick. We are in the midst of a cold snap in the New York City area, so indeed, France Pierre and Nasty Nate Cruz have to get some moisture on the mat for our upcoming fights later in the evening. Past the halfway mark of round number one. This is a 135 pound battle. Both of these men come in at 0-1 in their Class B careers. So each one looking for his first victory. Kind of beating and each other's legs up a little bit, trying to take a little steam out of the other fighter. It's still only a three round fight, but you'll feel that after round two. Slow you down a little bit. Nice dump there by Franz Pierre. But a warning, this is not Muay Thai. We're fighting under kickboxing rules here. So not as much leeway in terms of what you can do in the clinch. And there is the end of round number one. I think it was a very even first round. I mean, even by that they're both equally matched up fighters. Significant age difference between these two men, Franz Pierre, out of Evolution Muay Thai in New York City, just 20 years of age. He'll turn 20, I should say 19. He will turn 20 tomorrow on February the 2nd. Nate Cruz, meanwhile, is 30. Take a look at some of the action from that opening round. See right there, it was Cruz attacking the right oblique area of Franz Pierre, but Pierre seemed to close up that opening as the round wore on. He was ready for the kick that time. Yeah, the match just seems a little slippery. Just keeps sliding out there like he's on ice skates. Cruz with the black and red trim and the gold lettering, a native of Highland, New York, now resides at Poughkeepsie. Again, he fights out of Stockade Martial Arts under J.J. Russo and Chris Masseri. Meanwhile, Franz Pierre, a native of Cap Haitian, Haiti, on the northern coast of the country but now calls New York City home. We're underway in round two, and a body kick lands for Pierre. These early fights at this B-class level, I think a lot of it is just instinct and, and, and just athletic ability. You know, you, you learn some stuff in the gym, but man, when you get out there, you don't remember anything. 
You know, that's why I do a lot of the same things over and over and over in the gym so it just comes out. It looks like both these guys trained a lot of kicks as they keep throwing them. Strong teep a moment ago by Cruz, but Pierre seemed to walk right through it. And then Cruz tried a leaping front kick, didn't exactly find its target. Pierre continues to be the one coming forward, although Cruz is landing some good shots on the counter. See Pierre starting to back Cruz up a little bit now. Cruz has got a hole in that right shin. I'm sure that's going to start bothering him. He doesn't, some, if he doesn't feel it now, he's definitely going to feel that tomorrow. Absolutely. Some reddening on the thigh, and a big head kick lands for Pierre. He's been attacking the left lead leg of Nate Cruz, and, up, and that time he went up high and hit the target. Pierre comes up empty on the back kick. The kick combination. Nice trip there by Franz Pierre. A solid couple of moments here in the second round. Cruz getting a little frustrated there with those sweeps. Now Chris the Cannon Wagner, our referee for this bout, again warning Pierre, and that's some of the nuances between kickboxing and Muay Thai, which we'll see plenty of tonight, Jason. Just not as much leeway when grabbing an opponent's leg and what you can do once you get him in that position. And yeah, the kickboxing, you gotta let go before you strike. You're not allowed to do the sweeps or the dumps like you do in Muay Thai. Knee lands to the body for Pierre, and then he shoots a leg kick to the outer thigh of Nate Cruz. Good exchange, though. Pierre's not letting anything get off. What I mean by that is every time Cruz hits him, he's answering back, so he's always staying on top. Mean body kick and a right hook gets in there for Franz Pierre to close out round number two. Brandon Levi likes what he sees from the youngster. Some good action there in that second round. And that was the big shot That's right nice. to the jaw of Nate Cruz and give him credit, he ate that shot very nicely. And he took Jason. the head kick the, more on the chin, but he took it very, yeah, he took it very well. Yeah, those sweeps are getting frustrated. Oh. Crawling off the ground, it's very exhausting. And again, Franz Pierre, just 20 years of age, like to see him in some Muay Thai action. Looks like he's got the, the perfect body type. Definitely, for definitely. that type of sport. And he's got a real relaxed demeanor to him. You know, he kind of walks out. He's pushing the pace, but he's not pushing it too fast where he's going to go beyond his means. He's kind of just setting the pace where he feels comfortable. Now, not to take anything away from Nate Cruz on the right side of your screen, Nasty Nate, as we begin round three, is a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. In fact, he teaches Jiu Jitsu in, at Black Hole Jiu Jitsu in Wappingers Falls, New York. But right now, He's in a tough kickboxing matchup against Franz Pierre, and he's having a tough time. Look how, look how relaxed Franz Pierre is. He's, looks like he's just right at home in there. Just the second fight, second fight for both of these men. He's got good balance, too. You can see his weight's even in the middle. That kick came up empty for Pierre, but the right hand did find a home. I'd like to see him polish up those hands a little bit, maybe straighten out that right hand. A little bit loopy. His kicks are great. He's only got one fight. I think he's got all the right tools. Now he's just got to sharpen them up. Right hand kind of got Cruz off balance there. And another punch combination has Cruz backed up against the ropes. And a standing eight count here issued by Chris Wagner. That's a good call. Chris Wagner taking a look at Nasty Nate Cruz here. Going to let him continue. Final minute of the fight. Good sportsmanship between Pierre and Cruz. And it's Franz Pierre on the come once again. I'd just keep hunting that head if I was Franz Pierre. Tap with that jab and send that high kick home. Set it up a little bit. That's how he landed it before. He got him thinking about the punches and the kick slow. And then he brought that kick right up over the top. The young man from Haiti starting to open up the toolbox as we wind down here, round three. Knee to the midsection. And Cruz ate it up. Tough, tough showing here by Nasty Nate Cruz. I definitely want to see more of Franz Pierre. Well, it looks like we're going to go the distance here in our opening bout of the night. Franz Pierre and Nasty Nate Cruz go all three. Tremendous battle. And boy, Franz Pierre, good looking. 19, soon to be 20 year old. Impressive showing in his Friday night fights debut. Good exchange of kicks. That was a good fight. 
Very good fight. Some of the action there from our final round between Pierre and Cruz. Cruz actually got in a head kick there, but Pierre quick to respond. Ate it, kept going. Again, this is our season premiere of Friday Night Fights for 2019. Ariel Agami alongside the coach, Jason Strout, from the Church Street Boxing Gym in Lower Manhattan. So glad you could check out the action here from the famed Broad Street Ballroom. We await the decision between Franz Pierre and Nate Cruz, both men in search of their first victories at the Class B level. We'll find out who gets it. Connor Hall in the ring tallying up the scorecards. Chris Cannon, Chris the Cannon Wagner calls the fighters to the center of the ring. And here's Connor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner. It is by unanimous decision. All judges see this 30 26 in favor of France Pierre. Well, Jason, Franz Pierre, that's about as sharp a 20-year-old kid with one fight under his belt coming in as, as we've ever seen maybe on this on this promotion. Oh, definitely, yeah. I like, I like the way he was, like I said before, he was very relaxed, very composed. He was looking for shots, setting things up. Um, 